Hey everybody, welcome back to Into the Breach. This time we are up against the spider leader here and we need to protect the corporate tower of course. This is the boss of the Detritus Island. Look at that plump purple monster there. Uh, maybe I want to invest one of our upgrade cores here. Charge mix is really good. I think I'm gonna give you some health here just in case Archimedes. Now we've got 5 health, that makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, let's dive in. Destroy the spider leader. What can you do? Smoke immunity? Alright, that's new. Harden carapace, the shelf sign is providing armor to all vac. Oh yeah, there's a shell sign, okay. Um, throw out 2 to 3 spider eggs. This thing needs to go ASAP, man. Like, holy shit. Spiderling egg right there and there. Alright, I think we've never fought this before, so there is boss variety, I like it. Um, yeah. Let's do it, my mech boys. Yeah, there are some spider links, alright. Oh god, look at that! Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, I only have one HP though. Do bet I can't fire a laser here because there's this building in the way. Need to get rid of this shelp sign too. Uh, let's see. I could shoot him from here. But then what else would I do? I can attack this, bump it into that. But then this thing is still here. Hmm. Okay. Think. With you, I could step here, but then we would take grid damage for sure. With you, I could fire out the shield tank or pull something. Don't see how pulling something would help me. I could pull this, but then there's still no space to move. Still here I have to tackle. Here I can't really move around. Do I just take the grid damage from the start? I, I hate it though, but because that means we don't get a perfect island, or do we? We don't have the mission take no grid damage. Hmm. This might be a really good hit here, like if we were to move around here and just fire. And well those two guys don't take any damage apparently here. Hmm. Hate that it would do one grid damage to us here. What if I move Janos here and I destroy this? Ah, well. The problem here is actually that we don't do any damage to this thing. Hmm. I can't really see why we do damage to this, but not to the other one. I guess the Spiderling X, they don't get the the armor bonus for some reason. Okay, then I guess we have to destroy the this thing right here. And then... Probably bump with... Janos into this thing. Then what do you do? You fire your little tank out, I believe. Where does your little tank go? I guess Janos has to attack here. So that destroys a bunch of stuff. I hate that I cannot save this thing whatsoever. Okay, where can I find my little tank boy? Right here? There you go. And you give a shield 
to them here right away. We're just gonna move a little closer. Ate that thing. <laughs> Alright, ready for some damage. Yep, here come the casualties. Alright. Oh, they get an Alpha Centipede 2 here, alright. Wow, there's a lot of enemies on that mission, that's crazy. When does everything go here? You go first, you attack this way. You go second and attack the building, I can't have that. Sorry, boy. And you go third. So if I were to move out of the way here, you would actually spit on them. But they go before you, that's a big problem. Okay, let me move Janos first, I think. You probably want to step here and charge into them. Yeah, that looks like a good turn to me. Yeah, destroy the spider leader. I'm I'm working on it, believe me. If I step out of the way here, you're gonna hit both of the buildings now. That's <laughs> that's no good. Mm, yeah. You can only pull stuff, right? Yeah. Look at the water's all the way over here. I can move my little shield dude here. Where do I want you to be even? This applies acid and two damage, I see. I think for now I will just... Well, this thing only does one damage so if I move here and I use my attack I can kill it by pulling into me and I get an achievement for that so that's good and then I cast a shield on Genos here I think you're just gonna stand there and attack and then just take it like a champ <laughs> At least that's the plan, right? Still need to destroy the spider leader somehow. Okay, that helps the acid. Okay, yeah, a lot of threats here. In fact, approaching surface, yeah, like, you know, I'm noticing, dudes. Okay. You, where do you go, my my good man? We have three things being endangered here. Could pull this guy out with you, but that would be one. Still have two guys here. I think I need to fire a laser right through them there. What about firing my laser like that? Is that a stupid decision? I don't think so. I think, uh, I mean, it looks really good, right? Like, and just zap him really hard. I mean, that's very satisfying too. <laughs> And then I put my shield tank here and I can block this one. Dude, like there's so much going on here. I'm like everything is on fire and like burning from acid and stuff like that. It's a little crazy. And then you...
Here's the thing though. What do I do with you, my my good scorpion man? I feel like I had a play here, but now I kind of forgot about it. Because when I charge into him, it will push him. Hmm. And I need to pull this thing too, that means... Maybe have to do a little suicide mission here with our defense mech. Yeah, maybe I stand here with the defense mech and I pull. And then I come from the other side and then charge into it like so. I mean, they're saying excellent, but I don't really think it's so excellent if you think about it. Oh, the fire damage on Archimedes is problematic to say the least. So now we have one mech down here though. Okay, yep, there's a lot of threats going on here. can come over here and charge. That looks good. Right? I believe so. Alright, killed it. <laughs> and here this guy needs to go. Now let's give a shield to Archimedes here, I think. Or do we want to do this? Like if I move with Archimedes... Oh, you're wept too. Oh, that sucks. That sucks really, like, big time. Hmm, here... I'd have to sacrifice my shield tank and just stand here. To protect our buildings, that is. And then just shoot here with Archimedes. Now we can move, but it doesn't really do that much anymore. Uh, let's just step up here. And you could still shield something, but what would you even shield? You can't really shield yourself, right? Nope. Okay, that, <laughs> that went into the, the stratosphere there. Yep, there goes our little shield. I hope it comes back next mission. But we did it. Look at that, man. Like, everything is on fire and acid and damn, it's horrifying. Oof. Okay, they say perfect island. I mean... We lost some grid power, right? But all right, we didn't lose a pilot though because the one mech I chose to like sacrifice, it already was AI piloted. Actually, you accomplished every archive mission—an astounding accomplishment. Please, you and the Zenith Guard accept this as thanks. Oh yes, we can choose something. Defensive shrapnel. A non-damaging projectile that pushes tiles around the target. Silica. It's another special pilot, a power pilot. Mech can act twice if it does not move. Very interesting. Plus some mech HP. I think I'm gonna go for that guy because I want to maybe choose him in the next playthrough. Now we can spend some reputation. Let me just first head into here. Slotted pilot and plus to mech HP right off the bat is cool. Janos is very close to a level up too. I'm kind of surprised he isn't max level yet. Let's see. Should I move Janos into this one?
charge mech, defense mech, they have the same amount of power, I suppose. Let's just switch them around for now, or maybe switch them after one more mission. Okay, let's spend reputation. What do you got? What can I sell to you? Uh, the graph. Graph well, right? Sell that to you. I'm at 9 reputation. Confused shot. Fire projectile that flips. Targets attack direction. Repair drop. Kill all player units, including disabled mechs. So this can restore disabled mechs. That is very interesting. Electric whip. Chain damage for adjacent targets. Costs 2 energy though. And that's the shrapnel cannon we could have also chosen just now, I think. Should a projectile that damages and pushes the target a tile and the tile to its left and right. I know that one at least. Confuse shot is very interesting, but we already have a lot of stuff we want on our science mech. The repair drop is interesting. It doesn't seem to cost any power. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, and before we do that, I don't think... Yeah, let's... We can sell something here. Brute class, class weapon, science class weapon. Hmm. We have the shield tank now, so we don't really need this one anymore. And then I can buy the repair drop. And then free power cores, I believe. That sounds great. And then we can back out here. Let me go to upgrades really quick. Who wants the repair drop though? Maybe I will put it on you. Uh, can I equip? That could be very interesting. You have the double shot. Mac can act twice if it does not move. Hmm. Who wants free power cores here? Yeah, I think I'm gonna let Janos level up in that mech and then transfer Silica into the charge mech so it can just charge around the battlefield basically. That seems good. And then we would have one more power. Let's just save that. Okay, so that was great. So two islands secured. Do we want ice or do we want desert next? Uh, maybe ice? Let's go with ice because there's water, we have a flying robot that can pull stuff. Hope you can respect both forms of life on this island, organic and mechanical. I hope so too. Uh, lifeless basin. Kill at least seven enemies, that's tough. And protect the power generator or defend the robot factories. Okay. These factories are manufacturing hostile machines, but there are hundreds of innocent lives within. Please defend them while we try to shut them down safely. Okay, so we only need to protect, uh, pro uh, destroy the hostile robots and defend the factories. That sounds doable. This one, kill at least seven enemies. Threat diagnostic, machines frozen, threat very high, I recommend you avoid them, okay. Yeah, very, very scary. Where are the robot factories here? Oh, this, these two, yeah, okay. The two spire looking things, let's do that. Yeah, why don't we? Okay. 
So what do we have here? Is this a blast sign? It totally is. A leaper. Scarab. And what's this? An alpha blob. The blast sign, blah blah. Oh, throws a massive blob that will explode. That <laughs> does not seem healthy to me. Alrighty then. Let's go, boys. Mission start. Oh god, they're really going for that one, huh? <laughs> There's a lot of stuff happening here, my dudes. Um, okay, we need to move away from here because this thing will explode. Those also explode if they die. That is just horrifying, man. We kill this thing in the middle, that might be good. The blast sign will cause all VEC to explode on death, dealing 1 damage to adjacent tiles. But if this thing explodes, it causes grid damage. And if this thing explodes, it's the same thing. <laughs> this is horrifying, man. Everything will suddenly explode. The laser mech is not powered. Units without power are inactive and cannot move or attack. Okay. Where does it get power from, then? That's interesting. Maybe we'll power on next turn or something? Okay, we need to push some guys at least. And uh, this guy fires at this thing. So if I push him out of the way, it would be great. Can totally push him like that actually. Then it will explode. Okay, let me try something here. You should probably move here. And use the little tank thing. Tank deployed. And I move you right here. And this gets a shield, okay. Now if I charge into this guy, I think he will move over here, explode, it will kill this guy. Seems alright. Let's try it here. Yep. It's that. Now the problem is, if I destroy this guy, it will explode. And this guy will also explode. Should I destroy this guy first because it can web? Or he can web? If I kill this thing before it like kills itself, I think it will not explode by the way, just for protocol. I don't know whether I can... Well, if I destroy this thing, we might have a little problem because it will explode and this thing will <laughs> also explode. Hmm. The Leaper, though. I think I'll go for the Leaper first. I have a feeling that might be the better decision here. Well, that probably wasn't the right way to do this, but alright. Should have just attacked it from farther away, I suppose. Okay, and then we can move somewhere. Maybe in here. Block one of them. I hate the fire damage though. Little gnarly. Also hate that this guy just stands next to the building like that. Oh look, an alpha leaper. Things are just getting better and better. Oh, and this thing is also a big problem now. Hmm. I don't want you to catch fire, I can tell you that much. 
Archimedes cannot move now, that's horrifying. Can shoot, but I will explode. <laughs> Alright, that's great news. Now oh, I know what I could do. I could come here and. Well, this would heal everybody pretty much. And this would shove him out of the way here. Nice, okay. Well, Archimedes is still on fire, so it's not ideal. I could give him a shield at least now. Got him. And then... Yeah, then, then this is a good this question, like what do I do then? Like I could... Because I cannot shoot in this direction because I will destroy this, right? If I shoot from here, I can kill this thing, but I will also like damage myself. Um, first thing, you. What if I just use your draw ability and I draw this thing? Because this doesn't seem to be volatile, right? Like from the volatile vac thing. Yes, perfect. <laughs> All right. Now I could move. Would be wise to move into some water, maybe. Yeah, the buildings are really like not in a very good position for me here. Kind of hate it. If I shoot that guy, it will explode. Or all other vec will explode on death actually, so I could move here and just shoot it. Actually, I need to move a little bit closer to do that. Nice. Okay, got it. And then I will stand here. Alright. A little dicey, not gonna lie. So now this bot is powered on, right? <laughs> oh god, the friggin' blobs. You wept my little shield tank. Look at that. Absolutely horrifying. Is this a laser bot? It is, okay. But this guy needs to move somehow. Don't know how that is possible, but alright. Archimedes is like mightily damaged here. Fire is extinguished by water, right? I mean, like logically speaking. But if I were to move Archimedes over here. Hmm. It sucks because I would really like to cast a shield on this thing. I can't, because I can't reach it. Okay, you can get out of here. Dude, look at what's going on here, man. There's so many things attacking now, it's crazy. Like, I could move you here and then pull. Oh, another thing I could maybe do. Could move you here and pull that guy out and then use this guy to shove that guy into this guy. Like, what about doing that? Could you move there then? Hmm. It doesn't seem like you could. What about my little shield guy, man? 
Let him live. And Archimedes also really needs to live, actually. I guess the little shield guy just takes one for the team. Protect Genos here. And then with you, Archimedes. There's a lot of damage being done here. If I pull this guy in this direction, I'm gonna take a lot of damage. I could pull it one tile over here. There we go. Okay, so this is out. Now Genos also gets to move here. You can only move right there. If I do that, I can just destroy you here. Level up, you love to see it. Perfect. Now, if I move you here, can I move back into the water there? I don't believe so. But it's the only position from which I can kill that firefly actually without. Well, it's not a firefly, it's just a fly or whatever it's called. A hornet. Without damaging this grid or this grid. If I do this. Yeah, it just won't do. Let's, let's turn back time here for a second. Okay. So I guess you're gonna get a shield here. Can you do this? Right, because you can't really reach anything else here. And you will pull the block back. How far can you move? You have a move of three. That means if I step one. Wait, I can one, two, three? Yeah. It's not enough. No matter how I look at it, it's horrifying, man. Pull him. Let's go like that. Yeah, you all guys turns are over so might as well like go here and shoot from there then oh this is blocked by buildings actually okay yeah <laughs> i hate it man can't even hit two enemies like that so i have to step a little bit closer like that Yep, making some casualties and then stepping into the water. Why was I so adamant about stepping into the water? So it's just so fire damage won't kill us, you know? Oh, look at that. Everything is exploding, man. Oh, that leaper. I hate it. Okay. Now I can. No, I also can't attack like that. That's right. Horrible. This is horrible, man. Look at uh, look at this situation right here. Well, I could step here. Shoot the blob and this thing. Okay, let's think that through for a second. Where are you attacking? You're attacking in this direction too, is this horrible dude? Both of you are attacking in this direction. I guess you have to push yourself free here. Or you can also just like run over here. 
How much damage does the Alpha Leaper do? Five damage. There's obscene. Okay. And you two guys are very adamant about destroying your own factory. That's that's weird. I don't see how I could win this. I could destroy the Leaper with my own pull here. But I also need to destroy both of the robots somehow. Victory in one turn. I can also move here and destroy the Leaper. There's two in the grid from here. And I could pull you here. But I wouldn't even kill you though. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter whether it kills you or not. Who goes when? Bots go last. Uh... Or the blobber thing goes first. The explosion thing is the very last one. Leaper second. Who's going third here? Oh, this guy up there. Hmm. If I move here with you, can pull you over, then you will destroy that thing. So I don't have to worry about the grid anymore, I suppose. Now I only have to worry about those two robots. But I have no idea what to do against them, basically. Can't shoot the Leaper. Then I don't know whether that would block anything, but I could do that. And then, like, I still can't really defeat the other guy. So I could move up here and just destroy you like that. Like, I could shoot. Oh, well, I can't even shoot now anymore, but... Alright, I guess we won't get a perfect on this mission or any reward whatsoever. Or will we still get one star? I think we won't, right? Oh, we still get one star, alright. And one of our guys was promoted. That was a tough one, man. Skill promoted plus regret defense, alright. That's funny. Let me just go to upgrades here. That was a close one, man. Now you're max level. Let me just unequip you and Silica. Now our charge mech has this guy inside. And now, as long as we don't move, mech can activate twice if it does not move. That means we can totally like run over two things if we wanted to. And we have one more energy here. I think I'm gonna pump it into this guy. Just so we have more movement. I think movement would have helped greatly last time. Okay guys, this is... I think this is where I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. Uh, I didn't even keep track of the time but it felt very long for now like comment and subscribe you know it helps me in the channel out a lot i hope you enjoyed this episode and oh, my brain just stopped working mid-mission apparently uh see you next time have a nice day and bye bye